Okay, seniors, are you guys about to apply? Okay, good. Um, what's senior year about? Well, you've done the work. You've done everything. You've just got to keep up what you were doing. Uh, don't slack in your classes. Don't slack in your grades. Uh, don't slack in your extracurriculars. You, but but you, you really can't change much, as Andrew said before. Now's the time where you've got to be working on your application. You've got to be digging really deep into yourself. Uh, we've got students who write a draft a week of their personal essay for a month or two months before they even turn it in. Um, the college application is the picture of you. And you absolutely should not take that picture in one rushed evening before the application is due. Yeah, yeah, 11.59 is not the time to mail your application. I can assure you of that. Uh, basically, just keep showing the same growth and improvement you've always been doing since freshman year. Um, like Jay was saying, senior year is generally not a time to start too many new initiatives. You know, if you don't play the piano now, you're probably not going to uh, start it uh, this October. So I would say just wait on those new things. You'll have plenty of time to uh, restart the clock uh, next year when you're uh, a freshman in college and you have to do it all over again. So generally, just like Jay said, just start uh, crafting that narrative uh, as concisely as possible. And just discussing the personal essay here is, is a little bit too much for one presentation here. Um, but what we would recommend for those of you who are about to start your application, um, take those essay questions and throw them against the wall every day in your mind. Think to yourself, what can I write? What are the, you know, not just the first topic that comes to mind, but think over and over again. And we suggest that you even write four or five different essays before you go into the first essay that you, the, the essay that you're actually going to choose. Um, enlist the help of your guidance counselors, and enlist the help of your teachers, your English teachers, CCN coordinators, you can enlist our help as well. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't just write one draft and call that uh, your, your college essay. I, and this is something that I do a whole lot of. I, I advise tons of students on this process, and I really, I, I consider myself uh, almost like uh, a writer helping a celebrity uh, craft his or her memoir, really just trying to understand everything about someone, really get their whole life story both in my mind as well as on paper. It's an arduous process for me, but I can't reiterate how important it is to just constantly be thinking, writing, and understanding your life as a story. And again, like I said from the very get-go, understanding your life as a story helps you realize that you're the author of it, not just for your application, but going forward. So it, it really can be a formative experience and a great opportunity to, to explore your own mind. Great. So after you've chosen your schools, uh, done your applications, got your recommendation letters submitted, you are ready to wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, from January until April, you're going to be nervous. If, if you are nervous, you may not be nervous. You may not care. Um, but if you do care, uh, you're going to be nervous, and it's going to be nerve-wracking. Um, we recommend that you do all you can to keep up the quality of your work. Um, obviously, you're not going to do anything less than you were doing because you were doing everything you loved. Um, but in the event that you do want to scale back a bit, uh, just take it easy. Uh, get good grades. Keep, to keep up with your commitments. But really, it's time to relax. Yeah. Senior spring and beyond and senior summer after before school. Take it easy. Well, I wouldn't. I'd wait till April first. Actually, <laughs> wait till you get it. <laughs> well, there have been a lot of waitlisted students uh, the last few years. Actually, there are some new trends happening in admissions. Harvard and Princeton, in particular, don't allow early applications, and that's sort of pushing the whole process a little bit later. So I've seen a lot of students get waitlisted, and be careful to rest on your laurels too early. Is all I would say, because if April first comes and you haven't gotten into that uh, Harvard of yours. Um, then you might regret slacking on a couple of tests early on because your grades will matter. Now, that said, um, oftentimes this is a great period in your life. Senior spring only rolls around a few times uh, in anybody's existence. And I would strongly encourage you to enjoy it, but also start preparing for the next step because all the things we just told you, you're going to do them all over again. You know, you're going to repeat the freshman uh, experience. You're not going to have any idea what's going on. And you're going to have to explore, experiment, and it's great. And you'll have even more freedom and responsibility. So. And the beauty of all of this is that we haven't told you, even, even we've told you the opposite of, of this. We've said to you, you should never do anything just to get into college. Um, everything that you should do should be something that you really love and enjoy and are passionate about. 
those are the things in which you're going to do best. And so if you've developed this habit over the four years of your high school or two years or one year, even, even seniors, this is something that's going to serve you for a lifetime from, from you know, college and beyond. I would also uh, strongly encourage seniors, you know, I give this advice to literally everyone I ever work with. Uh, I think about 2% ever take the advice. Consider taking a gap year, which is a year uh, off between your senior year of high school and your freshman year of college. I write a blog post about this on the Veritas website if you want to know more. But really, it can be one of the most formative, life-changing experiences uh, of everyone I've known who's taken a gap year. They've all said they, they wouldn't imagine doing any otherwise. So uh, I would really have you consider it. If you have any questions about it, I'm glad to answer them.